Good morning to everyone. Welcome to Yoni Empire. Today the topic will be about the difference between an album and a CD album. When I was at Palm Church yesterday, a member of AFC Palm Church gave me this album, Pink Floyd from the Wall. As you see, there's the difference between this and this Pink Floyd CD there. I know it's got the wall as well, it's the closest one I can find called Pulse, which sadly Roger Waters couldn't participate because he left the band at the time. Okay, now let's see the difference between disc. Well, be careful with it, it can be a bit delicate. This is which has all the stuff like Another Brick in the Wall, Comfortably Numb, The Happiest Days of Our Lives, you name it. You've got all of them from the film, which Bob Geldof is in, literally, as the person called Pink Floyd, where he's first of all an innocent kid, then a rock star who was on drugs, who was under a lot of pressure, then he ended his life as a fascist. Okay, now you saw. The road to the disc, which I'll be putting back safely so then I won't scratch it. This Pulse CD album, which is from when it was live at Brixton, Hammersmith in 1994, I believe, which is where my dad went. CD of it. Now I'm going to sh show you like, both this disc and the CD. It's amazing why it's with retro these days. But compared to this one, you have no choice on the songs or what to play. But with this, pick any song you like. Explains what technology is like these days. Later on today, there'll be music like from Remix, like from Pole Pens. After showing you like Pink Floyd, there's going to be a couple of Pink Floyd songs on there. But despite Roger Waters leaving, they've done a few acts together at Live Aid. And then, despite Richard Wright's death, they were playing at the London 02 around 2011, which is when Roger Waters admitted that he was quite grumpy after finishing the soundtrack album, which I've just shown you just now. Anyway, that's it for me today. I'll see you guys later, there'll be music, hopefully there should be a couple of remix I found, like from my dad's CDs, see you later guys and take care. Oh and before I leave, remember to check out Magic Sound Recording, or if you want to call him as it's Mr Eric Zimmer. And what he says.